We're off to high school hoops, a big one in the Big 12 where Normal Community takes on Red Hot Peoria Richwoods. The Ironmen had a one point lead early in the second quarter, and then the Ironmen take off. This is six foot nine, Jaheim Weber, just too strong. Hoop and foul here. He had 10 points and 12 rebounds at Richwoods. And Braylon Roman with a terrific move to the rim here, two of his 22. The Ironmen scored 16 straight points. 16. Knights stem the tide here. Jared Jackson stutter steps and score and the foul for a three point play. But the Ironman cool off Richwoods. It's Robbie Brent for a three ball. It's a 55 42 Ironman victory. The Peoria High Lions were hosting Bloomington tonight. And the Purple Raiders, they're going to tie it early here. Nice move here from Adam Beasley, driving almost the full length of the court to get that layup. Lions take the lead back, though. Daquan Brown, he's going to knock down this three. And guess what? Next possession, they're going to go right back to him. Why not? Lions starting to run away with it as he hits his second of the quarter. And then Sean Kelly, he is going to drive here from the corner. He's going to get this floater over his defender, and the Lions win 81 57. Notre Dame at home against Urbana in the Big 12. Nice play here. Caden Hudson to Owen Dillon working the baseline. Dillon scored 18 points tonight, but this night belongs to Cooper Cox. The Notre Dame junior attacks from the right and scores here. Then off the inbounds play, Koch knocks down a three. He had his first three shots of the game and really never cooled off. He finishes with 35 points. Here's a hoop and foul and a 66-46 Irish win. Wrapping up the Big 12 games, Normal West taking on Danville. Normal West, Kylan Smith, he's going to pass to Nate Moore. He's open in the corner, pulls up the three and knocks it down. Then Moore this time passing to Gavin Camp, drives to the hoop, lays it in, draws the foul for the three-point play, and he'd complete it. Then Camp driving again, makes a nice move and lays it in. Normal West, they take the win, 57-45. Middle Eye Conference game, Metamore goes for its 13th straight win on Friday the 13th. Final seconds of the first quarter, Tyler Mason's shot is Tipped home by Luke Hopp just wow. before the buzzer. That counts for the Redbirds. Dunlap freshman Max Sutter, a terrific move to the hoop here. Dunlap only down four points at halftime, but the Redbirds are just so tough. Mason with a shot off the glass here. Calm, cool, and collected group. And a wonderful move here on the baseline by Matthew Zobris, part of a 62-54 Redbird victory. Well, the Washington students, they were busting out the Hawaiian shirts while it's 29 degrees outside. Early third quarter against Morton, Braden Vanderhyke to C.J. Duncan in the quarter for three, knocks it down. Potters were leading, though. Brooks Newhoff with the pump fake, gets the layup. He finished with nine points on the night. Panthers trying to come back. Gabe Patterson with another three for Washington. That cut it down to five. And then Grant Selke off a Tate Rowley miss. Works his way for two. Don't worry about Rowley, though. He finished with 21, and Morton wins 54-43. Now look at this, Kurt. Some East Peoria students, they look ready to replace us one day. They're hosting Peking tonight. Justin Page with a nice pass to Soul Town, who puts up the layup. Peking keeping it close, though, looking for the upset. Current Clark to Daniel Cash, and he's cash money from three. And then Houston Robinson, the third to Peyton Hess, who's patient. He gets the layup off the pump fake. East Peoria winning a nail biter. Page, another assist and a great move here from Jack Dubois. Raiders win 47 46. Canton Limestone meeting in Middle Eye Conference action in Bartonville tonight. And Canton's Dylan Watts goes to Braden Coker. Open three from the corner. He splashes that one in. Limestone's Jalen McLean is going to hesitate and he's going to try a three. And that is also in. And Canton's going to win tonight. It's Caden Otto driving to the basket, lays it in contact for a three point play the hard way. 53 45, the Little Giants win it. Prairie Central suffered its first loss on Tuesday, but the Hawks on the road in Rantoul looking to get back to their winning ways. Prairie Central's Gage Steininger gets two under the basket, but the Hawks, they were trailing by six at this point. And Steininger will get two more on the next trip down the floor. Nick knocks down the long jumper. And finally, watch Tyler Curl here with the steal. He is going to read this like a Hawk, and he is going to finish on the other end. Hawks with a road win, 65-49. Central Catholic looks for an Illini Prairie Conference victory. On the road at Monticello, Cole Serta drives and kicks. Trey Eller open for a corner three, and that's good. Jason Welch's team looking for that road win in the league, and his team would get it. It's Eller with another three here in a 79-61 Saints win at Monticello. Tremont at home against rival DMAC in the heart of Illinois Conference, celebrating with some er future Turks fans. Tremont's JT Kaiser passed to Grant Williams. He hits the three. Then Kaiser on the inbounds to Williams. He finishes with the easy layup. DMAC's Braden Mathis. He passes to Brent Denniston, lays it in just underneath the rack. 
And then Tremont's Ryan Kaiser gets the steal, takes it to the hoop, finishes on the other end, and Tremont wins big, 77-47. To the ICAC tournament at Peoria Christian, Scott Carlson and his Brimfield Indians taking on North Fulton. Brimfield out to a 10-0 lead, but this is the Wildcats' Caden Bowles flying in and scoring here. This turned out to be quite the ball game. Brimfield's Brady Johnson, he's open for three, and he'll nail that one. And Oliver Hines with a nice move through the lane for two. Brimfield gets a hoop at the horn from freshman Connor Doe and wins it 51-50. to Second game from that tournament tonight, Peoria Heights taking on Elmwood. Would go to the third quarter. Barrett Martfell in the corner to Jackson Finney, and he hits the corner three. The Trojans leading, though. Zach Howerton passing to Jimmy Babcock with a nice floater. Later, Brendan Williams, he's going to get the pass into Howerton on the transition. He finishes with 10 points, and the Trojans win 42-22.